Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm holding in my hands two beakers, obviously, right? Both of them have green food coloring in them. Pretty easy to see that, right? So we would talk about concentration in terms of how much solute is dissolved in the solvent. All right, so here, this is a very simple solution. There's food coloring, the solute, in water, the solvent. So which one would you say is more concentrated? Right, of course, this one right here. It's, why did you know that? Because it's darker, it, it has more solute, more green food coloring solute in it, right? So we measure things, we measure solutions in terms of just that, how much solute you could find in the solution, all right? But we're gonna talk about five different ways, five different ways, five different ways of computing con concentration. And they are percent by mass, percent by volume, molarity. We're gonna talk about what that is, molality, and finally, mole fraction. And each of these is a way in which we compute, we calculate the concentration of a, a mixture, a solution. All right, so here we go. All right, let's start first with percent by mass. Percent by mass, simply put, the way we figure that is we take the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution. It's percent, so times 100. Ah, uh, okay. Not bad. I mean, for being at home and for being some of you still in your pajamas, okay, fine. Uh, by the way, if it's past noon, it's time to change clothes, time to get out of the pajamas. All right, so one thing we need to remember when we talk about solution, solution is that the solution is equal to the solute plus the solvent, okay? That's gonna be real important for us later on. So the solution is equal to the solute plus the solvent, all right? So let's take, for instance, if we had a percent by mass problem, let's say that we had uh, 3.6 grams of sodium chloride, all right? I'm still here. Hey, uh, 3.6 grams of sodium chloride, and we're dissolving it in 100 grams of water. What is the percent by mass of sodium chloride? Right? So the way that we do that is that we take the solute, which is the sodium chloride, the one we have less of, right? So 3.6 divided by what? Now, if you said 100, you're wrong, you're off. Why? Because remember, the solution is the solute plus the solvent. So we have to add these two together, and when we do, we get 103.6. So we take that ratio, multiply it by 100, and we would get, uh, it's like 3.5%. Okay, so really close, really close to 3.6%, but uh, it's going to make a difference the more solute you have, right? That's why you want to be careful about this right here, making sure you keep track of that. Okay, so there's percent by mass. Percent by volume is much the same way. Okay, percent by volume is when we have a volume of solute. 
over the volume of solution times 100. So volume, sorry, try that again, volume of solute divided by volume of solution times 100. Okay? So we would really and truly do it the exact same way as we did percent by mass. It's just we might be given volumes, you know, milliliters or liters instead of grams or kilograms. All right? Now, one thing to note, be consistent. Be consistent in your units. If you have, you know, milliliters of solute and then they say liters of solvent, you got to make sure that you put the two on the same scale, right? Put the two both as being milliliters or both as being liters, okay? So, percent by mass, mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100, where the solution is equal to the solute plus the solvent. That's important to remember. Percent by volume is the volume of the solute divided by the volume of solution times 100. Again, where the solution is equal to the solute plus the solvent. I'm going to keep saying this because it's going to make a big difference, okay? And especially when it comes to the next type, the next way in which we calculate concentration. And we're going to spend a little bit of time on this one. So I'm going to, I'm going to make a little box here, right? Give us some room to work. Molarity. Now, this is probably the most common way you're going to find that we calculate concentration. And the way that we calculate molarity is, we calculate it by, guess what? It's in the name, yeah, the number of moles, all right? So molarity, and a capital M is the way we designate that. By the way, this is why, remember back when I said a couple chapters ago, when they were, uh, when the book was using a capital M for molar mass, and I said, probably not a good idea, why don't we use two capital M's? And you're like, what? What's the big deal? Well, this is the big deal. This is why, all right? This way, we won't get quite so confused. We've got a capital M for molarity. Molarity equals moles of solute divided by liters of solution, all right? Moles of solute and liters of solution. All right? So if you are given an amount in grams that's being dissolved into, let's just do that. Let's do that for a second. Let's say we have, uh, we'll go back to, we'll go back to this one over here, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll change it up a little bit. Let's say we have um, 5.84 grams of sodium chloride, right? And we dissolve it with enough water to make 150 milliliters of solution. Okay? So 5.84 grams of NaCl, we dissolve it in enough water to make 150 milliliters of solution. How do we find the molarity? Okay, the first thing we need to do is calculate the number of moles that we have. All right, now this is where, remember, your Molopolis map. Molopolis map, good. Okay, going from Gramsburg back to Molopolis, we divide. Okay, anytime you go into Molopolis, you're going to divide. It's like oh, when you, uh, they used to, when they talked about division, they would call them gazentas, right? Because they would say uh, three gazenta nine three times, three gazenta 12, 12 times, three gazenta, right? You get it? So that's why they used to call them gazentas. Um, so anytime you go into, go into Malopolis, you're going to divide. So we're going to divide this by the number of grams in one mole of of NaCl. So 5.84 grams NaCl 
And we're gonna use a little bit of dimensional analysis. One mole, NaCl. And I go to my periodic table and I calculate, all right, I got sodium at 22.99 and chloride 35.453. And so the two combined, they're gonna give me about 58.4. I'm just gonna round, you know, put it right there. 58.4, it's like 58.44 but that's okay. Grams, NaCl. All right, that makes these cancel. I'm left with moles. This divided by this gives me 0.1. I'll add another digit there. Moles. All right, 0 0.100 moles. Okay, so now I have my number of moles. I just need my solution, my liters of solution. All right, so I have my moles, I need liters. Well, they've given me 150 milliliters of solution. So I gotta convert that to liters. 150 milliliters, and if I use dimensional analysis, I know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. All right, milliliters cancels, I'm left with liters. This gives me 0 0.150 milliliters, okay? Now, something, a, a little quick way to do this, if you're looking at this and you wanna do it quickly, uh, you can just, if you're going from milliliters to liters, just take the decimal point and move it three places to the left. One, two, Three, just like we have right there. So now we have our moles. Now we have, whoops, sorry, that's liters, isn't it? My bad. Liters, and moles per liter is what we have molarity. So here, let's, our molarity then is equal to moles of solute, liters of solution. We have 0 0.100 moles over 0 0.150 liters. And that's going to give us 0.667, we'll round it there, moles per liter. Or we can say, we can just use the capital N, 0.667 molar is the way we describe that. Okay, so far so good? All right, two more. And by the way, the great thing about this is you can, uh, you can go back over this and you can pause, and all that good stuff, right? So just, if you have any questions too, obviously you can give me an email, okay?